Beneath a flyover in Nasser city, a group of young Egyptians are blocking the road. It's a sign of the lawlessness sweeping Cairo. The men are armed with sticks, knives, anything they can find. They say they're here to protect their homes because if they don't, no one else will. We are trying to protect our families, our people, because we heard uh, that uh, there are many criminals, they are killing people and they are taking everything. So we are trying to protect our people. A car approaches the roadblock. The men jump to attention. They want to know who goes there. This time it's someone from the neighborhood and they let him pass. The army controls the main arteries into the center of Cairo, but when you get off those main roads, it's the people who own the streets. And the one question on everyone's lips is where is the police? The police, a hated symbol of the Mubarak regime, are conspicuous by their absence. Since the bloodletting of Friday, they seem to have melted away. These young men hope that the president himself will soon follow. Everybody hates that man, everybody doesn't want him, so it's over. We won't stop, even if we are all dead, because we are all in danger now. It doesn't matter who's at home and who's at the street, everybody's at the street right now. In Cairo, at least, an uneasy calm prevails. By taking the police off the streets, the authorities have removed a visible target for people's rage. The petrol bombs are a reminder that the anger is still there and may explode again at any moment. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Cairo.